Over the next year, you're gonna see millions of products made using this year's hottest color. But here's the twist. You don't need a single drop of paint to take part in this color trend. Bayer just announced the 2025 color of the year, which is a burgundy called Rumors. It's a signal that you're gonna see a lot of things that coordinate with this color over the next year. You can expect to see rugs, fabrics, upholstery pieces, accessories, even dishes, all that go with this color. Burgundy is a cooler red because it has a little bit of brown and blue undertones. The opposite on the color wheel is kind of a bluish green. So it's important to look at the mood of the color before you decide if you wanna use it in your space. Do you want your space to feel really warm and cozy or sophisticated? or moody. These are the kind of colors that work well in a library or a dining room or, or a bedroom because it's a very sophisticated kind of moody color. Is it new? No. Burgundy has obviously been around for a long time, but it's going to be popular in the next year. If you are considering trying this paint out in your space, Bear has a color visualizer, it's called, where you can snap a picture of your room upload it to their AI, and you can choose an accent wall. You can choose to see what your room looks like with all of the walls that color. And it's a nice first step to see if you like the color at all. However, I will caution you that it's not 100% what your room is going to look like because it doesn't really account for lighting. So if you're considering painting in this color, I highly advise you to go over to Sample Eyes and buy a swatch of it or two and hang it up on your wall in different times of day and see if you like the color in your room. But the virtual tool is a start. So color theory tells us there are three ways that we can use this color in our color schemes. We can use it as a complementary color, which means we're going to use it plus a color that's opposite on the color wheel, which is more of a bluish green. We can use it as an analogous color scheme, which means that we will use burgundy and two other colors right next to it on the color wheel, or we can use it in a monochromatic color scheme. Can we use it in a million other ways? Absolutely you could, but these are the three ways that your eye really likes to see and that is gonna make your space feel more cohesive and intentional. So as I said in this video, if you don't wanna think about color theory, there's a shortcut to using this color in your space. Find a fabric, find a rug, find a piece of art that uses this color and let that piece of fabric dictate the color palette in your room because whoever created that piece of fabric or that piece of art, they know about color theory and they're picking colors that work together well. So you can use what they've already done and pull those colors into your room and it's kind of a shortcut to not thinking about color theory. And here are four ways to use the color in your space without paint. Use it in your textiles, a rug or fabric, drapes. Use it in your decorative accessories, a vase, dishes. Use it on a small piece of upholstered furniture. If you don't have the budget for a big piece of burgundy furniture, use it in an accent chair or stool or a bench. And lastly, use it in artwork. So if you love this color, rumors, but you're not sure how to incorporate it into your space, well, send me an email of your space plus one inspiration photo and I'll send you a mood board free for a limited time.